Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part three of Charlie 2.0. It is Charlie, aka Miss Charlotte, and my co host Jeremy. And if you have not seen parts one and, and also, I'm sorry, our fabulous technical advisor, CA, is here. Let's call her C. Yeah, let's call her C. Uh, yeah, C. <laughs> But if you have not seen parts one and two, please go back on here on my YouTube page and check out those videos because you have to see our other fabulous subjects. But right now, we're about to talk about the re-release of Titanic in 3D coming out April 6th and our views on it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my views first because Jeremy has plenty to say about that. And we're going to see what C has to say about it as well. But, um... When Titanic, the original version, came out in 1997, I was so excited. I was in the, the, the theater just crying my eyes out, being so dramatic because it was so... Now, I didn't necessarily like the love story, but I liked the dramaticness and the... Oh, no, I'm going to have to stop you there. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to stop him right there. That was an amazing love story. What is more lovable of a story than meeting someone for the first time and falling madly in love with them, and then they die? No. What is more romantic than no. that? There is nothing more romantic than that. Because... I'm sorry, there's no such thing no. as happily for a rafter. No, because if you seen other Titanic movies like A Night to Remember, okay, they were not based off of love stories. They were based off of non-fictional stuff, stuff that actually happened. They were touring, telling more of a storyline. Titanic was so dramatic, and I'm sorry, but the acting in terms of lovemaking was no. Nah. And why did they have to choose the name as Jack and Rose? No. They, they couldn't come up with something different? Like, really? I just liked the whole historical fact behind it and how they did, um, like, all of the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, like, the sinking and all that. That's what interested me. Even though the storyline did make me cry because it was dramatic, but still. They could have came out with a better storyline. But I am totally 100% behind the re-release of Titanic in 3D, which will make you feel like you're on the ship drowning. Oh, yeah. Because we all want to know what it feels like to drown, right? <laughs> so, okay, what I'm going to say about this is, okay, stop, stop, stop. Your movie is the second highest earning movie worldwide. Do you really need to re-release it. Is it really that necessary to see Jack die over and over? This is the second time this movie is going to be re-released. Avatar wasn't even out for a whole year before it was re-released. How stingy is James Cameron? Now, okay. How, no, how stingy is no. James Cameron? And you know what? You know what? I'm on board with Leonardo DiCaprio because he has said he is not going to promote this movie because it was 15 years ago, 15 years ago, almost 20 years ago. Why would you continue to go back and back and back? I, lo I look at it this way, okay. <laughs> I look at it this way. Back in 1997, which was almost 15 years ago, there was a totally different crowd that actually watched this movie. But now that we're 15 years later, people who were like maybe five years old, who are now, what, like 20 or something, have, who have not probably seen the movie, is now going to see it in a much cooler way, 3D style. And so, of course, if I was James Cameron, I would be, yes, I would be greedy and be making another $1.8 billion on it because I'm like, hey, there's all these new viewers watching it, so Ask why not? Ask Ask yes, what what let's hear from C. That is just uh, exactly what I was about to say. Like, when this movie came out, I was, I think, in third grade. Now, I'm 23 years old. Of course, I would like to see the movie now, in theaters. So I think, I mean, it's a it's a good move on some parts because no. I probably, no. I mean, I would like to see it in the movie theater. No. No. Yes, I would. No. Okay, here's Jeremy being a little disgusting brat, like a little child. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I think it's stingy. I think it's stingy and greedy and you just want, 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 want. But have and you ever seen it in a movie theater? Yep. Okay, well no, I didn't. No, I have not. I was so, so I have not seen it in the movie theater. But so what? So what? I'm gonna I'm I, so I'm gonna cry more in the movie theater than I would at home. No, it's for fun just to see. The so movies. what? I want to see people falling and dying at me. Like I want to see them I get do. up close. I well, do. That, congratulations that you would like to see that. I, but I, I I just think that. If you really liked a movie and you don't get tired of this movie, it's like a favorite song. 
You never get tired of it. If you really like the movie, but to other and it's, it's a new experience. Yeah, it's coming out like in a different version. Of course, you're gonna want to see it. You, you're not tired of it. See it. And yeah, there's people who maybe they know that the movie came out, but they've never seen it. They're gonna see it in a whole different way. And I'm sorry, but really, if I really was James Cameron, I'd be like, hell yeah, I'll be making me some more hell money. Yeah. I don't give a damn about money up in this damn. <laughs> yeah. So that's just my opinion, of mother. But yeah. Jeremy's all pissy oh, and wait, wait. sour. And Elizabeth, I know you're going to agree with Jeremy on this because you were complaining about it the other day, but don't care, play out. <laughs> Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I don't, I, I, I will, if I could, I would protest this movie because <laughs> we're almost 20 years after <laughs> it happened. Come on. Not 20. Hello, are they re-releasing Star Wars? Well, no, but no. They have a they no, they're not re-releasing it. They might. Yeah, they not, are. are they re-releasing Scarface? Yeah. No, they're not. They were re-releasing on DVD. Yeah, that's different. Though. But you'll have to see those them blow up have, people up on 3D. But those people don't have the money to re-release it on fucking movies. Are they re-releasing Tim Burton's Batman? Huh? Are they re-releasing Tim Burton's Batman? That movie no. sucked. So, I, no. uh, that movie is one of the highest questions. I think. <laughs> okay. I think that. Is that Batman? Oh, yeah. That I think that people might as well be re-releasing the same movie because, okay, they right, release the same movies, anyways. but they come out with different versions of that movie. But that's yes. basically like re-releasing the exactly. same damn movie. Like Saul. How many times did Saul come out? Like six times? You seven. know that the same thing is going to happen. Seven. seven. To be you know exact. that the same thing is going to happen in each movie. So that's basically like re-releasing the first one. Mm, quite true. No, it's not because, okay, I'm, no, I'm going to I don't like the Saul series. Okay, I don't like them. They're dumb. They're stupid. Do you see how they're like re-releasing the Disney movies? I want to go Disney, to Disney. Disney, that's different. Disney's children. We want children to go out and see and experience these great movies. But it doesn't matter. We, 3D. Are they re-releasing Beauty and the Beast in 3D? They did. They are. I think they are going to release Lion King in 3D. No, it's already been I done. Think that it's, it's a, a mistake. What it's, are they doing? Like, okay. But uh, like why are they doing generation. 3D? Rock. Just then, like, then just re-release it. Why are they throwing 3D because into it? Because it's nice to see movies in a the movie theater. Honestly, I like watching movies in a movie theater. You need to say no. I like watching movies in a the movie theater. So yes, they came out with fucking uh, Lion King in October. I didn't get to enjoy it, but you know, in January, I want to see Beauty and Beast. It's happening all over the place, and James Cameron's just running the boat. And as well, I would do that too. Because we were going to go buy for it. I'm going to go see Beauty and the Beast. And I probably will go see... Titanic, if I have the money, I want to see it in the movie theater. It's different. It's different experience in the movie theater, and that's it. And that's I mean, it. well, I think, I think the thing is, is that we know that it's coming out in 3D, but like, what I'm curious about is how it's gonna look in 3D. That's how I feel. Like, I'm like, okay, there, we've seen it in the normal version, but now I want to see what it's gonna be like in 3D. So that's what I'm interested about. Because I can't wait to see bodies flying at me like they're basically hitting my face. I can. That'd be wonderful. Um, I'm sorry. I, I, I this 3D epidemic. We'll, you know, we'll talk about this next week. This 3D epidemic has just taken over, and I, I, I honestly, it's ridiculous. It really is. It is absolutely ridiculous. But we are going to close this segment. We will be back. Um, we are actually going to talk about next an Oklahoma woman that unfortunately, sadly, had to shoot and kill an intruder that was trying to break into her home to protect her three-month-old son. So we'll be back with that. <laughs> 